What's going on guys? Today is Wednesday. It is new comic book day. Stopped by the shop on my way to class. Picked up my books for, th for today. Um, another big week. I'm looking forward to Villains Month being over. Uh, this week being the last week. And my my haul is getting back to a little bit no more normal of a size. But uh, picked up some awesome stuff regardless. Uh, have a few independents. I'll start with those. One that I wasn't completely set on picking up. But um, I flipped through it at the shop, and um, the interior artwork is fantastic. Reminds me of uh, Fiona Staples a little bit. This is Rat Queens issue one, and this is an image book. When I first read the um, the solicitation, I wasn't that into it, but I lo I read through it again last night, and I saw that it's the same writer who's doing Peter Panzerfaust, and people are going like batshit crazy over that book so I decided to pick this one up as well it looks more interesting than I originally gave it credit grave gave it credit for so I'm really excited to uh to read Rat Queens I think this actually had a Fiona Staples variant cover but my shop didn't have it next as far as independents go this is Itty Bitty Hellboy number two of five from Dark Horse really awesome book it's just a really nice light read in the middle of my uh my heavy all the other heavy books that I read the artwork is really great you know a much more childish way to tell Hellboy stories but um cool stories about cool characters nonetheless and I like this book a lot I think in this issue um everybody is going on a a camping trip with Lobster Johnson with, which sounds pretty awesome so I can't wait to uh to read that I don't know who's who's actually if anybody's actually picking that book up as far as um, other people who read Hellboy stuff, but I am enjoying it. And next from Vertigo, this is The Wake number four. Scott Snyder and Sean Murphy, fantastic artwork, fantastic story. It's been sweet since the start. I feel even though I feel like it's been forever since this book came out, so can't wait to get into that. If you're not reading the singles, definitely uh, check this out and trade because it is awesome. Uh, last book before I get into the Villains Month books, uh, a book that I enjoy quite a bit and I don't see very many people picking up. This is Adventures of Superman number five. Really awesome cover this time. Just Superman short stories and one shots, but really, really awesome stories. I've, I've never been super into Superman and this is kind of a good way for me to get, get a little more acclimated with him and his cast of characters through a one, a, you know, one shot in a short story format, and I'm enjoying it um, a lot. Actually, like that book quite a bit. And then the rest of these are all 3D covers. I wanted one more, but I uh, I got shorted. This is Batman Superman number 3.1, the Doomsday issue. I'm not super into Doomsday, so we'll see how this issue is. But overall, artwork looks kind of. Ugh. Looks like the art changes right in the middle of the issue, which looks kind of weird. But uh, overall, the interiors, it looks fairly interesting, even though I'm kind of confused. But I uh, can't wait to, to read this. I've been loving the Batman Superman series, so I decided to get that, even though I don't know if it's going to have anything to do with the normal book. I, I kind of doubt it. Next, uh, probably my most anticipated Villains Month book this week. This is... Wonder Woman 23.2, the firstborn issue, written by Brian Azzarello. Uh, no Cliff Chang artwork on the interiors, but um, I feel like it's a very similar style. Uh, maybe it's how it's colored, but um, I think this is going to be fairly consistent with the new, with the current Wonder Woman story, which is why I'm looking forward to that so much. I wanted a 3D cover, but my shop got shorted and I wasn't going to. Um, drive around and look for it so i'll stick with the 2d and the rest of these are all 2d covers just stuff that i needed i felt like i needed to get to uh to fill in my runs and stuff this is green lantern 23.4 the sinestro issue sinestro is an awesome villain so can't go wrong there really interested to get into that i really don't like how they recycled backgrounds though with stupid green lantern there again on every single green lantern cover same thing with the batman ones and the flash and whatever else so i don't know Next, we have Batman 23.4, The Bane Issue. Uh, I have all four of the Batman ones now, so I just felt like I needed it. Cool Bane cover, so I'm interested to uh, to see where this goes. I think it's going to lead into Arkham War, uh, which I'm not getting. 
but uh, I'll read it and try to enjoy it regardless. And then finally, uh, I need to go back and pick up 23.1, the Black Mana issue, but this is Aquaman 23.2, Ocean Master. I've decided that I'm going to pick up Aquaman at issue 24, so I decided this was an okay place to start. Uh, I'm going to have both of the Villains Month issues, and then I'll start reading his normal, normal title at issue 24, which I can't wait for. I heard the Black Mana one was really good, so I, I don't know if this is the same writer as that Black Mana issue. I kind of hope it is. But anyway, those are all my books for this week. Uh, pretty big week. Hopefully next week's a little smaller when uh, v Villains Month is over. But big thanks to you guys for watching. Reviews will be up in a, uh, a timely fashion sometime over the weekend. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.